Today, I'm gonna snack Asian style. I have a bunch of sweets and savory Asian snacks and I'm very excited to try all of them. Let's start with the savory stuff. Calbee Harvest Snaps Red Lentil Tomato Basil Snacks. Oh, look at these. They definitely look like pieces of wood. I've had Calbee's Harvest Snacks before or Harvest Snaps before, different flavors of it. I don't remember ever trying this one. Obviously they have a good amount of crispy crunchiness, more crispy than crunchy. The tomato basil flavor really comes through. I think more tomato than basil, but I can taste both. There's a hint of tanginess in there, which I think is from the tomato. And of course these are salty snacks, but I think the salt level is actually really good. Two thumbs up for the flavor, two thumbs up for the texture. I enjoyed it, it was a lot of fun to eat. So in my opinion, the Calvi Harvest Snacks Red Lentil Tomato Basil belongs at the very front of the line so far. Calbee Harvest Snacks Green Pea Snacks Caesar. These either look like marijuana or something wasabi or green tea flavored. This is neither, trust me. Oh, it definitely smells like uh, Caesar salad, that cheese and that Caesar dressing. I get a little bit of tanginess and of course some salt, but I don't really get a Caesar flavor even though the scent is there. Hmm, very curious as to why I'm not getting the flavor. Flavor wise, it was definitely very average. It didn't really taste like what it promised, so I'm gonna give it two thumbs sideways. And for that reason, the Caesar flavored Calbee Harvest Snaps, I'm gonna leave at the very end of the line. Chitato fried noodles flavored potato chips. Just looks like regular potato chips, nothing too special to look at with some herbs and spices maybe. I've tried these a long time ago, but I don't really remember what they taste like. It smells like roasted corn. Well, I've never had Asian noodles, so I can't really taste or say if this really tastes like that or not, but I definitely do get Asian food vibes from the flavor. It definitely had a big spice kick at that very first bite, and I got the tip of my tongue. Like right there, I could feel the hot spiciness on the tip of my tongue. It does have that, what some call MSG flavor to it. There's a hint of tanginess to it, but it's very spicy. I'm actually liking these more than I thought I would. Ooh, that spiciness is kicking the back of my throat now. I enjoyed this quite a bit. Spice level, really high up for me, but I enjoyed the spiciness, so two thumbs up. I like that there was a hint of tanginess in there, and I like that it actually tasted like Asian food. So overall, I'm gonna give it two thumbs up. For now, I'm gonna leave the Chitato fried noodles flavored potato chips at second place. Now let's move to the sweets. Kokaie coconut cream flavored coated peanuts. Definitely has a very interesting and attractive packaging. And if you know me, you know that I love coconut flavored things. So it really got my curiosity going. It's really hard to hold here like this. It really got my curiosity going as to what this is all about, so I just had to get it. It shows you the peanuts, it shows you that there's a coating on there that's supposed to be, in this case, coconut cream flavored. And the packaging reminds me of Pringles. This is what they look like, there's one that's not coated. I did open this last night and tried it because I was just too curious and couldn't hold myself back. Right, so there you go, you can see the coating and a whole peanut is in there. They're definitely crunchy, even a little bit crunchier than regular peanuts because of the coating. I get a very mild sweetness along with a roasted, unsalted, or maybe very lightly salted peanut flavor. But you know what's missing? The coconut flavor. I don't taste any coconut flavor in there. Like, I can't find the flavor whatsoever. It was fun to eat, it was crispy, crunchy, it tasted okay, but it didn't taste like the flavor it was supposed to at all. So I'm gonna give it two thumbs, definitely more than sideways. For now, I'm gonna give the Kokaie coconut cream flavored 
Coated Peanuts is shared last place with the Harvest Snaps Caesar. Ko Kaye Coffee Coated Peanuts. Again, beautiful packaging, just like the last one. These are coffee flavored coated peanuts. Again, it shows you the peanuts. I tried these last night as well. This one has a wonderful coffee scent when you open it up. It smells really good. It looks identical to the other ones. It's extra crispy and crunchy because of the coat. It has a very mild sweetness to it, like barely any. And I can taste the roasted peanut in there. Can you guess what's missing though? Where's the coffee flavor? I don't taste any coffee. It's non-existent. I think the company either forgot to flavor these two cans or they flavored them in their dreams. Extremely disappointed in this one too. I love coffee flavored things. There was none. No coffee flavor. Two thumbs more than sideways. I'm gonna give this one as well the last place shared with its brother the coconut cream flavored coated peanuts and with the Calbee Harvest Snacks Caesar flavored green pea snacks. Lotte, Pepero, Almond and Chocolate. These are kind of like Pocky but from a totally different brand. Oh look at these beautiful things. They look absolutely stunning and so yummy. Look at those almond bits and pieces sticking up in the chocolate. Oh, it smells so good of milk chocolate, wow. Mmm, that chocolate flavor is so good quality. And then the extra crispy bits and pieces of the almond. These are absolutely two thumbs up, delicious. Very light, crispy, crunchy, chocolatey, really good. For now, because I liked the latte pepero sticks so much, I'm gonna give him a second place shared with the Chitato fried noodle flavor potato chips. Pocky crunchy strawberry. Oh look at this, Pocky gives you two beautiful packets of the Pocky sticks in there. Oh look at this, it looks like these are chocolate sticks and you can see the crunchy bits and pieces of the strawberry on the cream part. I feel like I say this with everything that's strawberry flavored when I review it. It smells like Nesquik again. Like, so Nesquik scented. It definitely has that candy like Nesquik strawberry flavor and those bits of crunchy uh, things in there add some good texture and extra flavor. And I believe I got a little bit of a hint of a cocoa flavor from the stick part. Flavor was good, texture was good. It was a lot of fun to eat. Overall, I'm gonna give it two thumbs up. I'm gonna leave the Pocky Crunchy Strawberry at third place for now. Lotte Koala's March Strawberry Flavored. These kind of, I guess, are similar to Hello Panda, but from a different brand. This is what they look like. They have a really cute, adorable koala on them, each one with a different facial expression. One of them is a boy, one of them is a girl. It has that typical Nesquik scented strawberry scent to it. There's the strawberry filling in there as you can see. It's crispy and crunchy, but that cream filling in there gives it like a pillowy texture on the inside. It does have that very typical strawberry candy Nesquik flavor to it. Overall, it was two thumbs up. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I'm gonna give Lotte's Koala's March fourth place for now. Last but not least, at least I don't think least, from Meiji, it's the popular Hello Panda strawberry flavored. These are what the Hello Pandas look like. They're supposed to have a panda on them. There is the strawberry cream filling in this one, considerably less than the latte koala ones. Crispy, crunchy, has that strawberry candy flavor. Overall, it tastes good. Now to just do a side-by-side -side comparison of the looks of the two. On the right is the koala's march from Lotte. On the left is Hello Panda from Meiji. I think we know who wins looks-wise, for sure. 
And last, this is the last one that I'm gonna try, <laughs> but not least, the Jack and Jill Max Eucalyptus Candy. This is hard candy and it looks clear. I have no idea what eucalyptus tastes like, but my friend and my parents told me that it's supposed to taste like Vicks and I'm crazy that I chose it. It does taste like Vicks. That's not bad actually. It's mouth cooling, it has a bit of a Vicks flavor and a little bit of a mint flavor in there. Overall, I'm gonna give it two thumbs up. It's actually interesting and unique. I have some reshuffling to do. I'll be right back. At sixth place, it's shared between the Calbi Harvest Snaps, Caesar flavored green pea snacks, and the two Ko Kaye coated peanuts, the coffee flavored and the coconut cream flavored. At five and a half place, it's the Jack and Jill Max Eucalyptus Heart Candy. At fifth place, it's the Meiji Hello Panda Strawberry Flavored. At fourth place, it's the Latte Koala's March Strawberry Flavored. Third place is Pocky Crunchy Strawberry. Second place is shared between the Chitato Fried Noodles Flavored Potato Chips and the Pepero Almond Chocolate Sticks. And first place winner is the Calbee Harvest Snaps Red Lentils Tomato Basil Snack. Have you tried any of these snacks? If you have, let me know in the comments what your opinion is about these and also what your opinion is about my ranking of these snacks. Do us both a favor, check out this playlist right here. I'll see you in the next video.